Hi there and welcome back to Abnali's Cuisine. Guess you're all doing amazing. If you're new here, please do well to subscribe and if you're a returnee, thank you so much for stopping by. In this video, I share the simple and tasty spaghetti jollof recipe. Without wasting my time, let's get it started. In a bowl, I have some sliced meat. So I'll add my Maggi chicken seasoning, ginger powder, garlic powder, black pepper and salt onto my meat. Afterwards, I'll proceed to add my grated onion and I'll make sure to stir it well to incorporate all the ingredients. Please note that all details of ingredients have been listed down in the description box. Afterwards, I'll cover it with my clinch film and allow it to marinate for an hour. My time is up now, so I'll add 4 tablespoons of sunflower oil into my pan to stir fry my meat. It's not compulsory to use sunflower oil for this step, so you can use whatever oil you have at your disposal. I will proceed to add my marinated meat and stir fry it on medium heat until it turns very pale. Now, stir frying my meat after marinating it is very optional. I know others will prefer to steam it before they stir fry it. Whichever way that you choose, it will work out very well. And there you have it, our stir fried meat just turned out the way that I really wanted it to be. So I'll go ahead and set it aside and save it for later use. To begin with my stew, I'll add my remaining oil and then proceed to add my sliced onions. I'll proceed to give it a very gentle stir and allow it to fry for 2 minutes on medium heat. My onions have been frying for approximately 2 minutes, so I'll proceed to add in my tomato paste and then proceed to stir it until all the ingredients are well combined. I will let it fry for approximately 3 minutes on medium heat to help remove the sour taste from the tomato paste. Once it's done, I'll proceed to add my blended tomato and pepper mix and then give it a gentle stir to help incorporate all the ingredients. So let me remind you to subscribe to my channel if you have not and turn on post notification by clicking on the bell so that you'll be notified whenever I do upload a video. Next is to add some Maggi shrimp seasoning and salt. Feel free to add any other seasoning of your choice. Again, I stirred it very gently until all the ingredients were well combined and then allowed it to cook on medium heat until all the water evaporates. Once our stew is on fire, simultaneously I'll proceed to cook our spaghetti. So I added some salt. Please adjust it according to your preference. And then I added some sunflower oil. I only added the oil because I don't want my spaghetti to end up sticking together. So I'll cover it and bring it to a rolling boil. As soon as my water boils, I'll proceed to add my spaghetti into it. I would then stir it gently and then adhere to the cooking instructions and that's to cook it for approximately 8 to 10 minutes. So 
so there you have it our spaghetti is ready so i'll just train it and set it aside for later use next is to saute my vegetables so i added two tablespoons of sunflower oil into my pan and then proceeded to add my bell peppers i only did this because i don't want my vegetables to end up tasting very bland i added some maggi shrimp seasoning gave it a gentle stir and allowed it to saute for a minute anything over one minute will overcook our vegetables Our vegetables are ready now, so I'll set it aside for later use. Our stew has been cooking nicely, so I'll go ahead to add my stir fried meat. Afterwards, I'll add my sautéed bell peppers and I'll also give it a gentle stir to make sure that all my ingredients are well combined. Finally, I'll add my cooked spaghetti and give it a gentle stir until all the ingredients are well incorporated. So there you have it, our spaghetti jollof is ready. It's well cooked and it's just ready to be served. The taste of this spaghetti jollof was just so great. I hope you totally enjoyed this video. Please do well to comment, like, share and please don't forget to subscribe. See you in my next one. Bye.